Still asking Wendy, how you doing? How you doing? How can I help? My name's Kristen, and uh, I'm a bit of a bargain shopper. And my girlfriend, she can afford everything. She's always asking me, where'd you get your clothes? And it's to the point where she's looking at the tag in the back of my shirt. Excuse and you don't swat her hand? <laughs> <laughs> but it's embarrassing when she does it in front of other people. Really? So how do I get her to stop doing this? First of all, everyone is a bargain shopper. You know, I'm here on the, on the talk show with a sweater from Victoria's Secret catalog. I, yeah. Everyone bargain shops. It is a fool who tricks up all their money on clothes. Your friend is woefully insecure. You need to read her. That means tell her about herself and yeah. still dare her to still be your friend. And brag about where you get your stuff. What do you... Target? Target. <laughs> Forever 21? Yeah, I like that store. Okay. <laughs> and all those places, of course. H&M? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, not so much, a little bit. Okay, well, <laughs> look, you're our kind of girl. Yeah. And, and your girlfriend is unrealistic, so mm -hmm. tell her about herself and don't be embarrassed. Okay. How you doing? How you doing, Wendy? And welcome back. I recognize your hair. You've Thank been here you. before. Yes, I have. How can I help? I want to know if you think I'm being selfish. I'm an original cougar. My husband's 11 years younger than I am. Oh. No, really. <laughs> We've been married for over 20 years, and I want to move away to a warmer climate. I mean, after this winter, it's disgusting. I have had it. He's not so hot on the idea of a long-distance marriage. Do you think I'm being selfish? Well, wait a minute. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait a minute. Are you retired? I'm retired. Is he still working? He... He's got six more years to work. And, I mean, we've, we've gone house hunting. I've got him that far. We've yes. gone to Texas. We've done house hunting. Yeah. But he's still saying, wait a few more years. Now he's counting down. Well, Five years, three months. A new job isn't easy to find. You know? <laughs> Can, I, I need you to wait for the six years. I, look, I don't believe in long-distance marriages or long-distance relationships. Okay. Not for a, a period of six years. Now, if he was over in the war or something like that, that'd be a different story. But you can, you can help this. What I would do is do a little nest egg so that when it gets cold like this, you can go away every few weeks to Scottsdale oh. or something like that. But, okay. but stay. Besides, okay. we need you here at the show. Yeah. Hi, Wendy. How you doing? I'm doing well. <laughs> My name is Joan. I am 66 years old. I've been married for 25 years. Good for you. Thank you. <laughs> and my husband still wants me to wear very uh, sexy, tight spandex things, like all the time, almost, almost all the time. And there are times when I feel it's inappropriate and it, it doesn't feel right to me, you know. And so I'd like him to back off a little bit and not always have an opinion. <laughs> Do you have children in the house or grandchildren? My children are grown and no grandchildren in the house. My 92-year-old father lives with us. You're, yeah. <laughs> um, well, so when do you think this is inappropriate? Um, to the grocery, to church. To... <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I think that you can have... You, you, you know your husband well enough. You've been married for over 20 years. I think mm. you can have a nice conversation. And maybe there can be a little compromise. If he wants you to wear something particular, then you go to the mall together and see what it is. There are tasteful spandexy type... Only because it's my favorite material, so I know. <laughs> and I hope that my husband's still making those requests when I'm 62, <laughs> because I would definitely still be doing it. But, um, you know, there are, there are spandexy things that you can wear, and then these really cute cover-ups in case you don't feel like it's you. But most importantly, have the conversation with your husband, because, you know, you're not going to feel uh, sexy for him if you're in something that's not making you comfortable. Okay? True. Good luck, Joan. Hey, Wendy. How, How you are you doing? doing? Good. Well, my name is Aisha. I have this uncle. He's 60 years old. Okay. Every time I bring a fe female friend around, he's always hitting on them. Uh-uh. I'm like, uncle. He's saying things like, do you want a sugar daddy? <laughs> my friends are like, so, like, mortified. You can tell that they're embarrassed, but they don't want to be disrespectful. What do I do? He's so embarrassing. How old are you, Aisha? I'm 34. Yeah. And your friends are all your age? Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't like to disrespect elders, but I feel as though sometimes when you ask for it, old people, <laughs> you're, you're going to get it back. But you're not going to get it back from somebody who's, say, 24. There's yeah. a 34-year-old woman. You need to sit down and have a conversation with your uncle. No smiles, no playing. Not even a grin or a break of the... Not even that. <laughs> and, no, seriously, ew. Yeah, ew. And, and then also, and your girlfriends, there is a respectful way that you can talk to somebody else's elder when you're a 34-year-old woman. One of the great things about getting older is that we have a better command of the, the English language. We know how to say hurtful things without, without them being, like, 
did she just hurt my feelings? I, I'm not even sure. Yeah. I better stop hitting on her friends. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll do one day. This is disgusting. It is. <laughs> and, and your hair is everything. Oh, thank you. Gorgeous, Aisha. Everybody, okay. Um, up next, we're gonna meet a woman in our audience whose boyfriend asked her to be a part of a threesome last night. Hi, Wendy. My name's Joy. How you doing? All right, Joy. How joyful were you? Oh. Hi. So last night, me and my boyfriend are having sex, uh -huh. and in the middle of our encounter, he stops me okay. and asks me to get my best friend over there in the other room that was sleeping to join us. Okay. Um, I, I had no idea what to say or do, and I, this is why I'm wearing this trust, trust no, no man, man chain. Um, I just want to know, do I address this? Do I make a conversation, or do I just pretend that it never happened? Okay, how long have you been with your boyfriend? Very, very short period of time, about a month. Okay, ha have you and your friend ever been together? I'm not going to judge. No, no we're okay. just best friends. Okay. No. Um, a month is, just dump him. Just, just, <laughs> like, like... Like he, he's he's got he's got this thing. She's only been with him for a month. Mm -hmm. He's got this thing where he thinks that he can bring her in. Mm -hmm. Apparently, he's not respecting you for girlfriend material because right. th this is he thinks of you as a trick. Oh. Right? Yes. No man asks something like that in the first month. First month Maybe I, five years they right. ask and then you say new. No. Right. But okay. Thank you. Wendy. All right. Good luck. Yes. All right. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? Good. Hi, Wendy. My name is Wanda, and I'm from Philly. Um, so I've been with this guy for five and a half years. Uh huh. And he's the greatest. He's sweet. He's cute. He's handsome. Uh -huh. Um, he does everything for me, and we've been talking marriage. Mm -hmm. But uh, I have a problem. Uh oh. The sex isn't good. The sex isn't good. Oh! What should I do? I well. All right, you, you're, he's just your boyfriend right now, no. or are you engaged? Do you have children together? We're not engaged. You're not engaged. But we live together. And you live together. Yes. Uh huh. Um, this, the, the lady back here says you can teach him. You know what I say? After five years, if you hadn't shown him the way and he hasn't picked up on it, it's it's a little. It's not too late, but you know, honestly, Wanda. I would be very insulted at, at this point when your man comes home from work and he turns on the Wendy show <laughs> and he sees that you're saying that he's bad in bed. So I would venture to say this engagement might never happen. <laughs> I mean, you can teach him, you can tell him what you like and how you like to be touched, but it's not going to take away the fact that everybody at shop right now knows he's bad in bed. <laughs> Do you understand? Oh, Wanda. But he doesn't watch your show. I do, so. Well, no, the lady at ShopRite does, and she's the one who's gonna say, "Oh, you're bad in bed." Um, go home and teach him. Tell him how, how you like to be touched, but don't seem too bossy, because that just that's a turn off, also. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. You're welcome, Wanda. <laughs> how you doing? Hi, Wendy. I'm Carrie. How you doing? Hi, Carrie. All right. So my husband and I have been married for nine years. Fortunately, the sex is good. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> We, um, I have had, I have had most of my guys, my, most of my friends are guys. Uh -huh. It drives him crazy. Absolutely drives him crazy. So how can you convince a man to, that can trust you, that it's okay for guys and girls to be friends? First, you, first you have to convince me, because we touched on this <laughs> very hot topics. And I'm, call me immature, I'm very consistent with this, though. Um, unless there's money being made together, like you work together or something like that, I don't know how to convince him. Um, I won't tell you to drop your friends, but I will say, why don't you try to have them over only during the day when your husband is there and incorporate your husband in with the friendship. And when Fair. you go out with them, as opposed to going bar hopping or out for dinner at night, you know, with them, why don't you meet your friends for lunch during the day. Not that s sunlight makes for no, no. <laughs> I, I want to say the right thing. I don't want to, you know, kill your joy. Not that sunlight means you're not cheating, but at least it might take a little bit of the heat off of your husband. I got you. You understand? Yeah, no, I do. Oh. <laughs> How are you doing? How are you doing, Wendy? I'm doing well. What can I do for you? My name is Melissa. Um, actually, I was in a relationship for a couple of months with this guy. Yeah. And I found out that he was married and had a family. <gasps> yes, Aww. but that's because his wife called me. <gasps> yes. 
So now I'm super paranoid about dating, and um, I feel like every guy that I date might have a double life, just like he did. Oh, no, 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 Whoa. Every guy doesn't have a double life, and for the record, every guy's not gay. <laughs> uh, let me ask you, honey bun, how old are you, Melissa? 25. Okay, you see, this is what happens. When things like this happen at 25, we've all been there, those of us who are older, you can't, I don't blame you for being shell-shocked, and I hate to ask you to go out of your way. But this is what the times uh, that we live in have come to. Um, find out where he lives. And you might want to do a drive-by. <laughs> and, and I don't, look, look, I don't mean a nutty, crazy drive-by. And I know you don't have money for a P.I. because that's what we older women do. <laughs> You know, you just get right to the chase. But for 25, get in your car. It's worth going by his house. You don't have to tell him that you were there because you can tell the difference between a neighborhood that houses family, <laughs> if there's swing sets in the back and yes. whatnot, um, and, and if there's a doorman. Uh, I mean, just there's no real way of telling other than observe him. Yes. Don't be aloof and stupid. You know, um, less than informed. <laughs> don't be yes. aloof, okay? Because guys try to be tricky. Yes. And, and we don't want you to be shell shocked and hurt. <laughs> all right? Very well. Very well. Men. How you doing? How you doing, Wendy? <laughs> my name is Kia, and I have an 18 year old daughter. I just recently moved my boyfriend in of two years, and she is now hating on my relationship. What can I do to get her to grow up and let me enjoy my bed with my man? <laughs> This sounds like a recipe for disaster. Yes. It's, I mean, it really does. Now, is he younger than you? No, Kia? he's about the same age, two, two years older. Okay, so you're both in your 40s. Yes. Um, when is your daughter moving out, going to college or something? Next year, okay. 2014. I wish that you had waited until she moved out before moving him in. But what you can do is make sure that you recognize that she is there. And, and if anything, show her even more attention and yes. more love. Because, like I said, recipe for disaster. Always make sure that she's wearing a gigantic woolly robe when she walks around him. Okay. I don't want to see him in his drawers sipping orange juice by the light of the refrigerator. I mean, wow. this, is, this is really a recipe for disaster if you don't play it right. I wish you had waited the year until she goes away to college, but since okay. you didn't, just keep your eyes open and your ears close to the door and keep, good. keep your clothes on. I know that's Okay. Right. How you doing? Hi, Wendy. I'm Lily. Hi, Lily. How you doing? <laughs> Very well. Thanks, Lil. Um, my co-worker's a snitch. We go to meetings, and all of a sudden, she'll blurt out in the middle of the meeting, you made a huge mistake, and I'm so tired of it. How do I get her to stop, Wendy? Is this somebody that we can talk to one-on-one? -on -one? <laughs> She's not a rational person. Okay. Um, well, um, do you, are you cool with the boss? Are you okay with the yeah, boss? Yeah, I'm okay with the boss. You know, because there, are, there is such thing as, as um, co-workers keeping confidence from one another. It's supposed to be us against the boss. Right. You know? Right. Um, I would go and speak to the boss about it. Or maybe the next time she says something like that in mixed company, have something quick to say back to her. Okay. Unfortunately, that plays into the whole tit-for-tat thing. You know, yeah. like you yeah. put the staples on the wrong side of the report. That's why Mr. <laughs> Sweetelson couldn't read it correctly. <laughs> so before you call me out, you need to make sure that your stuff is in check. But then it's going to be this whole tit-for-tat thing. Right. Which is what it is now. <laughs> Does she do this to more people than just you? Oh, yeah. Everybody. Oh, well, it's time to freeze her out. <laughs> freeze, freeze her out. Would you say jump her? <laughs> yeah, free, freeze her out through your actions. Don't talk to the boss. I take that back. Just, you know, give her the side eye, roll her eye, and always check her when she tries to check you. Okay. How you doing? Hi, Wendy. My name is Janine. How you doing? Hi, Janine. Wendy? <laughs> I am a newlywed. I got married four months ago. I love my husband dearly. Congratulations. But Wendy, he is a hoarder. He refuses to throw out anything that he think is, thinks is sentimental, which is everything. So I'm wondering, Wendy, is it okay for me to throw out his things when he's at work and I'm home alone? <laughs> okay, what kind of stuff is he saving? I mean, is he taking up a lot of room? We have comic books, comic book trinkets, Cards from every birthday, other people's wedding invitations. Do you live in a place with a basement? We live in a one-bedroom apartment here in Queens. Oh. <laughs> and we want kids. Oh, and you want kids. Oh, mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to give you a little hint. Not, not that this is a bad thing, but here's what I do. Mm -hmm. You take the stuff, little by little, 
and you move it to a secret place. <laughs> if he doesn't ask for it in six months, he's never going to ask for it. Okay. And, and slowly but surely, you filter it out to the garbage man. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Yeah, you understand? How you doing? Hi, I'm Matt. Hi, Wendy. Hi, young man. How you doing? I'm doing okay. How can I help? So I have a girlfriend, and uh, we've been going out for two years. It's pretty serious. And uh, we're both going to college in the fall. She's going to be in Chicago. I'm going to be in Philadelphia. And I really like her, but I, I want to have the college experience. So do you think I should pursue a long-distance relationship or end it? Well, if you pursued a long-distance relationship, you would start to do things behind her back within the first week of school. <laughs> Uh, so it would be best to do the honorable thing and respectfully break up with her. And you'd be doing her a favor. Uh, you know, as a girl, she might be the one to be a little bit clingy. No, Matt, let's not break up. Let's stay together. Believe me, you're doing her a favor, too, because when girls go to college, we're up to fangs as well. Okay? <laughs> Good luck. Have fun. Wendy. How you doing? Hi. How you doing? <laughs> Hi, Wendy. My name is Bosede. I am 32 years old. I'm, my family's from Nigeria. So in my culture, people are usually married with a few children by 30. Mm -hmm. Every family gathering, my father, before dinner or after, is praying that I find a husband. It's completely <laughs> embarrassing because it's not just in front of my family, but visitors and friends. And so um, I know his intentions are good, but it is embarrassing for me. So... Thanksgiving is coming up, and I'm just trying to figure out how do I approach him about it without hurting his feelings. See, this is not just a, a re regular girl. Uh, this is a cultural thing with her. So, you know what I would say? Oh, God, I can't believe I'm saying this. Ignore your father. Let him get... <laughs> and you know what? You know what? Ignore him. And, and you might be embarrassed, but believe me, you, the other adults there understand your pain. You, you know what I'm saying? Nobody's looking at you crazy. Um, you, you know, it's cultural for you. Do you have a boyfriend? No. Have you, do you ever bring a, a boyfriend home? No. Is it because you don't like to, them to see your family because of the pressure or because you don't date? I do. I date. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I don't want it to be like a rotating door. So unless I know it's like going somewhere for I mean, for, then ignore like... him. I mean, he's old. He doesn't know. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't know the score of a modern day woman. Ignore him and go on about your business, okay? okay? Thank All you. right. How you doing? How you doing, Wendy? Good. How can I help? My name is Della. I've been married for um, almost four years now. Mm -hmm. Prior to getting married, my husband and I talked about the possibility of adoption. Um, but now he doesn't want to hear about it at all anymore. Mm -hmm. Should I push the issue or should I just let it go? Do you have children? We have a two-year-old son. Two. Uh, I think that you should push it maybe one more time, but mm -hmm. you need to push it by presenting all of the facts yeah. and, and circumstances and perhaps the name of some adoption attorneys. Mm -hmm. You have to present him with a full PowerPoint presentation, right. so to speak. Okay. You know? Yeah. Um, wait until after the holidays. Okay. Okay? <laughs> all right. Thank you. You're very welcome. How you doing? Hi, hi Wendy. How you doing? Good. My name is Dorena. Um, I've been with my boyfriend for two years, and he's constantly joking about never wanting to get married, and I definitely want to get married. Should I continue with this relationship? No. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's, now let's dial back and find out some of the facts. How old are you? I'm 26. Okay. He's 27. Mm-hmm. Yes. If he's, you know, you have to listen to everything that a man says pertaining yeah. to something like not wanting to get married. Okay. Just like they must listen to us when mm -hmm. we say we don't want children. Exactly. You know, mm -hmm. or I'm not going to convert to Catholicism because I'm Baptist. Yeah. Or, you know, we have to really, when we're in relationships, we have to listen closely to one another. Mm -hmm. And I feel as though... You've learned a lot probably about yourself in these two years. Yes. But relationship-wise, I feel like she's wasted two years of her life. <laughs> Didn't he tell you in the beginning he doesn't want to get married? Um, not really. Okay. He, he just played around with it, and I oh. just never took it seriously. Yeah. I thought maybe I could change his mind. No. no. I know. Yeah. Listen, you're still young, though, honey bun, so you have okay. a chance to go get another and, and, and find out about the marriage thing at some point before the two-year mark. Okay. Okay? You're All welcome, right. Darina. Thank you. I'm sorry. Um, Darina's single just in time for the holidays. Hi. How you doing? How you Wendy? doing? My name is Reverend Bridget, and I like to dress glamorous. I'm not the typical reverend, but when I do, people tend to judge me. What should I do the next time they're judging me? <laughs> this cannot be a problem. You just want to be seen on TV. <laughs> From Dallas. Yes. Well, welcome, Reverend Bridget. I thought glamour originated in the church. 
I well, mean, so I, I can't figure out why they would be judging you, Reg Reverend Bridget. Me either. Um, and you can't curse them out on account of you're a rev. <laughs> But, you know, maybe you can give a part of your sermon on Sunday regarding judging people's outward appearances. Wow. You know, in interject that with your sermon. Good idea. All right, Reverend Bridget. You know, you just never know who's going to show up at this crazy show. I recognize you from the shop right. <laughs> you're, you're, my, you're my grocery buddy. That's me. Look at us all <laughs> fixed up on the TV now. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing, Wendy? What is your name? <laughs> My name is Anna. Anna, nice to see you nice here. Nice to see you. <laughs> and I have a husband of 44 years uh -huh. who recently retired. He was a bar owner. And now he's become a couch potato. Oh, no. And I have so much energy. How do I give him my energy and get him off the couch? Um, you plan the activities. After being married for 40-something years, it's not insulting for, you know, a woman to uh, plan the activities and just kind of, you know, bring him along for the fun. My, my dad is a couch potato, too, in a lot of ways. My mother's always planning stuff, you know, to get him out of the house so that Drag he... him along. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so you do the planning. Good idea. All right. Great See, advice. See you around the neighborhood. See you around the neighborhood. <laughs> yes. How you doing? <laughs> my name is Ravik, and I've been married for seven years, and my husband has a problem with uh, an ex that I'm friends with. We were dated for about six months, maybe, but this was, like, closer to 15 years ago. How do I make my husband understand that having a friendship with him is not a threat to our marriage? How come you told him that that was your ex-boyfriend? I mean, if it was only six months, then you didn't even have to mention that. See, the thing is, we were on a break. My husband and I were on a break when I started dating him, so he kind of found out that way. Wait, you're, you were married when you dated no, this fellow? No, I wasn't married. Okay. I was with my husband. Okay, your boyfriend and girlfriend. You right. and your husband. Yes. A boyfriend and girlfriend. And how long had you been dating prior to the break that you took? Long, long time. A long, long time. long time. And while you were on that break, you got together with the new boyfriend of six months. Yes. And you never knew the boyfriend of six months prior to no. meeting your husband. No. Well, if I were your husband, I'd have a problem with this also. Why? Because this is a man whose arms you ran into for comfort and solace. Whether you, you know what? Whether you slept with him or not, it doesn't even matter. That emotional thing sometimes is a lot harder, especially for us women who are soft and pink. Yeah, but that was like almost 15 years ago. I don't care. Aww. I don't care. W what is to say that if you and your husband run, run through another rough patch that you won't call this same fella who comforted you before? Well, see, here's the thing, Wendy. Now, he was an okay boyfriend, but he's a great friend. So it just didn't, it's not something that I would Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, don't wreck your happy home with somebody who, who doesn't really matter like that, okay? Yeah. Very well, very well. How you doing? Hi, Wendy, my name is Brandy. How you doing? Hi, Brandy, how can I help? I have a friend that was supposed to be here today. We've been friends since seventh grade, and uh -oh. today is also her birthday, but apparently her ride didn't show up, and I didn't get the message till 4.30. What ride? Her uh ride, she doesn't drive. Her ride to the bus station. Who was we're from DC? Who was okay? So who was supposed to be driving? Who is this ride? Uh, Uber, I guess. I'm not sure. Uh, she doesn't drive, so uh, they didn't show up. So we're from DC, and I didn't get the text message till 4:30, and our bus left at 5 a.m. And I didn't want to miss this show or you, so I continue on with the journey. Am I wrong? No. <laughs> So you didn't get into so and her Uber didn't or her ride whatever the ride is did not show did up. not show no. up well so what's her name her name is Taryn and today's her birthday well Taryn um, happy birthday to you this is what I'm going to do I'm going to put you in touch with the um, audience department here at the show and then you and Taryn will come back to the show oh, and, thank and, you. and have a good time all right thank you. very well I would have done the same thing now. Hi, Wendy. My name is Saban. How you doing? Hi, Saban. So I have a question. I've been dating this guy, and I have a 90-day period, so we can't have sex until after 90 days. So, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so, I am wondering what should I do. I was excited for this intimate moment. Okay, now watch. And this is why sometimes it's better to just get into it. True story. <laughs> Go ahead, Savon. Now what so happened? I was excited for this intimate moment. Mm -hmm. However, after I saw him in a shower and shirtless, he's not as fit as I thought. So, I don't want him anymore. What should I do? Well, 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 Savon, 
Maybe a more mature woman, Ooh. I'm just saying, okay. would understand, and don't get me wrong, because we all have our sophomoric ways, I know I do, but in terms of relationships, a more mature woman in 90 days already digs him, so whatever's under his clothes mm -hmm. almost doesn't even matter, because you got this beautiful guy who you've spent 90 days with. True, true. But in your case, you need bodies, so I guess just dump him. <laughs>